Hey guys and welcome back to the art of 3D printing. Um, so in my previous video, um, the VL Touch installation, I kind of explained how, I kind of showed that uh, the, the print came out a little bit over extruded. So this, uh, this video is all about um, getting the extruder calibrated properly and mainly the flow rate in your slicer, because um, getting that flow rate dialed in really well um, can really improve your print quality. So um, let's head over to the computer and the printer and we'll get started. Hey guys, so here we are over there at the extruder. Now first thing we want to do is you're going to grab a permanent marker and a ruler. And then we're just going to measure, we're going to place the ruler on top of the black box, black part here on top of the extruder. And we're just going to put a mark just on 10 centimeters, roughly. I mean, it doesn't have to be like millimeter perfect. Just about there. And then we're going to go over to the computer. Now you just want to go we're gonna go, we're gonna first connect our printer, our Black Widow, to our computer through the USB. And then we're gonna open Print Run, or Pronterface. I never know what to call it, it's got two names. And then we're gonna to connect to our printer. And now that we're connected, we're just gonna preheat our hot end. Set it to two. Well, I'm going to set mine to 220. And now this is uh, so the first part of this video is the um, extruder e steps calibration. So this is just to, I mean, it's not going to be 100% accurate. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Um, this is just to get it in a ballpark figure. Um, and then we'll, when you adjust the flow rate, that's when you kind of fine tune it. So when we marked off that 10 centimeters on the filament coming out of the extruder, that's so that when we extrude 10 centimeters, we can um, measure how much it's actually moving um, and then adjust the e-steps accordingly. So if you can see here, when we first set up our printer, I automatically, I mean, the first thing I did was change my e-steps to around 900 because that was a rough idea of what the right e-steps should be. So today we're just going to um, fine tune that a little. So now we're going to, once our hot end's got up to temperature, we're going to change this length to 100 millimeters, which is 10 centimeters. We're gonna change the speed to 200 millimeters per minute. I mean, yours might be set at that already, but just make sure that's correct. And then we wanna click, just make sure you click out of the box like this, just so that it registers both numbers. And then we're gonna click extrude. And it should extrude some filament. And then we just wanna, once it's finished extruding, we wanna see where, it, um, where it's gonna stop in relation to that black mark. So mine stopped pretty much dead on the mark. So having yeah, my e-step set at 900 is a pretty pretty accurate number. So if it stops before, as in it only extrudes nine millimeters instead of 10, I mean nine centimeters instead of 10, then uh, I'm gonna put up an equation on the screen, as you can see now. And that equation is what, how you figure out your new e-steps value. Um, so what you wanna do is work out the new e-steps value. Then you wanna type in M92 into the command thing, E, and then your three E steps numbers that comes up and then you press enter. And then once you press enter, that should change your numbers. You wanna go M500 to save to the EEPROM. And then you press enter, it should say set in stored. And then you go M501 just to double check. So when, once you type M501, your E number should be then the correct one that you've worked out from the formula. Now we'll move on to calibrating the flow rate. So we're gonna just we're gonna first before we leave printer face we want to set our heated bed to 70 or 60 degrees whatever you print P, um, PLA at and then we're going to go into Cura and now once we're in Cura we're just going to change our machine to our Black Widow we're going to open up our 20 millimeter test cube that we downloaded from the previous videos Okay, so now this, uh, to calibrate the flow, we just want to set a layer height of two is fine, a shell thickness. We only want it to be one shell thick. 
Um, bottom thickness. We'll leave this at our standard, which is for me it's 0 0.8, so that's four bottom layers. Fill density we want zero. Print speed is 60. Print temperature is 220. Bed temperature is 60. That's all fine. Flow we want to make sure it's 100% because that's our baseline which we're going to start at. Make sure your diameter is correct and your nozzle size is definitely 0 0.4. You now advanced settings. Initial layer thickness is right. 105 is correct. This outer shell, I'm just going to change to zero so it uses the standard I mean it uses this value here and then we want to open up our expert settings so open expert settings and we want solid infill top and solid infill bottom we want to uncheck both of those so that means it's just going to print the walls there's going to be no infill on top and no infill on the bottom and we'll click OK go into the layers view and as you can see And then now just to make it a lot easier and quicker, we're just going to scale. So you want to click on scale down here, uncheck uniform scale and scale the Z to 0 0.5. So now it's only a 20 by 10 millimeter object. So it's only got 50 layers rather than 100. Because all we're really worried about, all we're worrying about in the, with this print is measuring the wall thickness. So it doesn't have to be too tall. And then I'll start Gco. That's all correct. Plugins. It keeps warning me about this plugin. Don't need plugins. Okay. So now, if we go back to Pronterface, our bed should be at is heated. Our extruder is heated, so we'll disconnect from here. Then we'll click on Print with USB. Connect and print. And now I'll go back over to the printer camera and we'll do a quick time lapse of that printing. Okay, guys, so here we have our printed part, um, just the four walls, and uh, we want to make sure the bottom side is on the bottom. We've got our calipers here, we're just going to zero those, and then we're going to measure each of the walls, so we've got 0 0.48 on that one, 0 0.47 on that one, and 0 0.48 on the other one, and the last one, 0 0.48 as well. So. I don't know if you can see that. So that's 0 0.48. And then, um, so you want to make sure that you don't uh, include the bottom layer because that'll be 105% of your layer thickness, just because that's what we've set it in the slicer to get it to stick to the bed. So now we're back in Cura, we're going to exit this printing box. And now down here to our flow percentage. Now, my, my wall size was 0 0.47, 0 0.48. So now that's that's, that's, that's pretty close, it's just it's, we wanted more 0 0.43, 0 0.42, pretty much not, we don't want exactly 0 0.4 because then you, the error is plus or minus, so we don't want it to be, it could be 0 0.38, so we don't want that. 0 0.42, 0 0.43 is a good part to aim at, so we're slightly over extruding, so if our flow rate's 100%, we're going to bump it down to 95, and then we're going to reprint the same thing connect so yeah we're going to go reprint that um, I won't show you another time lapse um, we'll just go straight on to the finished part and measuring and we'll see how close we get okay guys here's our second attempt at uh, tuning these um, walls so we're just going to measure this one this one comes out at 0 0.47 0 0.44 and 0 0.46 so we we're getting close to that 0 0.43 mark um, we're just going to do another one of those and see how close we can get okay so here we are back for our second adjustment so 
Now we went from on average 0 0.48 to about 0. I think it was 46. So and that was down 5%. So we're just going to go another 5% to 90%. And then we're going to print with USB again. Okay, guys. So yeah, this is our third print here. Now we're just going to measure this one. So we got our wall here. 0 0.42. 0 0.43 0 0.43 and 0 0.42 so now that's that's pretty much as accurate as I want to be so um, I think my flow rate was 90% um, so now that uh, that should be your flow rate and extruder all calibrated so guys that's it for this video um, I hope you liked it I hope you learned a few things if you want to see more um, how-tos and reviews and uh, tips and tricks on 3D printing, um, subscribe to my channel. Feel free to comment down in the comment section below um, any videos that you want me to do, any uh, specific videos, um, otherwise your thoughts on this video, um, and we'll see you again on the art of 3D printing.